hello guys welcome back to my channel the bargain trader today i'm going to talk about a bullish setup uh, which is a famous price action pattern which is three white soldiers so let us talk about uh, the buy entry and the uh, stop loss of this uh, i mean setup right uh, so what what is required what's the other conditions so conditions are simple the three uh, candles should be uh, bullish uh, i mean on the chart it should be green and the the, the condition which you can just uh, certain is that the second candle second candle high uh, i mean the close is greater than the first candle close and similarly the third candle close is greater than the second candle close so this is a simple setup here and with the stop loss is at the low of the first candle and the buy entry is when the fourth candle crosses the high of the third candle for on a safer side so when it is most effective so this setup is most effective when the price is near the vwap so whether it is uh, coming towards the vwap or it is uh, going further away from the vwap in the direction of the trend like that is bullish we are talking about so and uh, the second point so whenever you see like the long term trend is positive and you have a small uh, a small downtrend in the uh, in in the medium term trend then you can just look for the bullish uh, this setup and uh, it could be a good uh, risk to reward uh, because as the stop loss is uh, limited here and the third is that whenever there is a pullback from the 20 or 200 period moving average so these both are the different different setups when we are talking about the 20 period moving average we are considering only the 20 here and uh, we need to look like uh, there is a pullback which is which has happened like the stock was falling and suddenly a 20 period moving average it is uh, it is moving towards uh, the trend that is the uptrend it's continued uptrend so suppose uh, that's the case then you could look for this uh, setup entry and you could go for a trade both on the 200 period moving average and 20 uh, so as i was saying uh, like what we need to see is that the size of each candle should be relatively equal and small so that is a uh, good setup for this bullish uh, three white soldiers so second uh, second thing is like uh, when we should not trade the setup so whenever the underlying is in a downward trend and uh, uh, so and if you know like the their fundamental is uh, i mean too weak and plus if there is a scenario like the sector is not doing well then you shouldn't go for this setup so we need to look for the stocks uh, which are going to boom uh, in the in the bullish uh, view and uh, second thing is like uh, we shouldn't uh, trade this in the range bound uh, market right so it could give us a, a little bit uh, false signal but you know uh, when you talk about probabilities like uh, you don't never know in market like when it is going to have a uh, a day in which the trend is going to be maintained so you have to take this care uh, that's why uh, the risk is defined so in the long term if you do uh, you can back test it you will find the results that what uh, what it, i am uh, meaning here so th that's all for this and uh, what is the advantages advantage is that your stop loss is defined and your risk is defined to previous two candle low only uh, disadvantages is like as for most of the retail traders it is very hard to find these kind of setups in the intraday uh, this is one setup I just want to discuss like uh, uh, what happens in the setup your first candle is very big and the second candle is relatively smaller than the first candle and the third candle is also smaller so what happens in the intraday we have with this kind of setup our stop loss uh, is big because as in the strategy we are uh, eyeing the low of the first candle as a stop loss so we could do some modification here uh, if we still think like 
uh, we have a bullish view and we think like uh, this is a perfect setup so sometimes you can find it uh, the setups also going bullish too bullish uh, so what to do in that case so you can modify your stop loss like you could uh, take the stop loss uh, to the second candle low or you can just uh, divide the first candle height into two parts and take the midpoint of the first candle as the stop loss so that is one thing we can do so one uh, interesting observation which i have uh, seen uh, in most of the setups like whenever these three candles are of the same width uh, i mean the height so it exhibit a good risk to reward ratio in that case so uh, as you can see here is an example uh, which I have highlighted like uh, the three candles uh, have the same uh, height here similar height a relatively similar height and they are equidistance and you can see like how it the stock reacted after this and similarly you can see the fail setup on the left hand side also just see the uh, if you have a big candle then possibly it is not going to work so it works well if you can find it in uh, at a some uh, 20 p uh, period moving average or 200 then this works well and uh, since it's, it has a fixed stop loss so in the long run you could get a uh, I mean you have to search a stock uh, first like having a bullish view on that stock and stock performing well then you can go for the setup by defining your risk that's all so how we can code this so coding is simple uh, we need to see like the close of the third candle minus the close of the second candle this should be greater than zero so that is the condition and similarly for the first and the second candle you can just also modify a like greater than and that i just took this thing so same thing you can put it in uh, the uh, pandas and you can have the result there so i'm going to code now uh, so guys welcome back to the code of the three white soldiers uh, so what i'm doing here uh, i'm using the panda library and here i'm uh, reading the data frame and in this data frame uh, I'm just counting the number of rows here and uh, whatever rows are there uh, so I am taking the uh, dates are in the first column uh, let me show you where is the data so I'm going to this folder trade data 27 Feb and I'm going to show you uh, what's the uh, what is the setup there so I'm using Libra and uh, this is like date is there open high close uh, open high low close volume uh, so we will be working on the first uh, five columns only uh, for this setup so again going back to the code uh, you can see like uh, all the these dates are coming in this list and i have set up the two boolean variables buy and sell both uh, i've set false because right now there is no being, uh, no trade is there we are going to work on this logic and buy order is zero and stop loss is zero stop loss value is zero and stop loss head is zero and total stop loss head is zero so uh, these variables are there and they have a value in my uh, this code which i'm going to explain uh, you further so as i stated in the uh, in my uh, slide uh, where i have uh, shown you the condition so same condition I'm going to check here in the entire data frame. So we are working from the third row uh, and uh, the I am iterating from the third till the end of the uh, this uh, data frame. So what the condition is same like uh, df close value uh, j minus df close value j minus 1 should be greater than 0. This means the third candle close should be the greater than the second candle close. And similarly, I have this condition that is the second candle close uh, should be greater than the third and uh, I mean the uh, first candle close. And uh, I have set up the buy equals to false 
because this is my uh, condition to buy I will go into buy once this variable is false I mean the further there is no buy which has happened earlier and buy order zero so once I uh, went into this loop then I'm setting up my stop loss which is the low of the uh, first candle and then I just printing here buy just for the purpose of uh, understanding and I'm also uh, uh, printing the stop loss value and uh, here I'm have a variable that is stop loss value uh, it is the it contains the, uh, the the number I mean the stop loss which I am taking on this particular trade so this is that and I'm just printing it and once I am out of this, uh, I, I, I have made a buy, I am setting these parameters to true and one. So what is the condition? Like I have to check like my five uh, minute uh, candle. Yeah. So what I am looking, if the this low, uh, I mean the low which we have set, uh, I mean to say uh, we have a stop loss there and we, we need to see like if this stop loss is getting hit or not so this is the condition for that so every uh, value I'm going to check the low if it is being uh, if it is less than the stop loss or not and uh, if the values goes to the uh, uh, I mean less than the stop loss uh, then that means that our stop loss has hit so I have put it stop loss hit and uh, this is the uh, some of the thing I am just printing it and buy order equals to zero and stop loss equals to one and this is something like uh, if I'm just uh, uh, following strategy and after suppose 10 trades how many stop loss I have uh, hit and uh, if I have hit so many uh, stop loss then what is the uh, total loss I have occurred in the number of the uh, stock moving points so uh, in the terms of how was the stock moved so that is very simple so I'm testing it for the uh, Tata Motors for the data uh, for like two months uh, so just running it so you can see like I have a buy entry at uh, 11.5 at 183.35 and I have a stop loss of 182.2 and stop loss value was uh, 1.115 and my stop loss was it so that was the thing and my see the total it is showing 1.15 again I have a buy entry at 930 uh, on 30th so here it's you can see and till now there is no stop loss hit so that is uh, the effectiveness of this strategy uh, which I am saying uh, that you look for a trend uh, riding uh, so th this is very good uh, strategy if you can see you can find a some stock which is bullish so <clears throat> so next thing uh, what I'm going to do I'm going to run it for another stock so what I have uh, in my kitty is let me see uh, let me see the nifty there or lines let me see uh, actually I have not run them there could be some issues also okay uh, let's not test it because the values are not correct here so what I'm going to do is I'm going to test it for the bazaar finance because I have back tested it earlier also so so this is uh, you can see uh, this is also one of the uh, powerful like uh, I how many buy entries I have uh, this is the first entry and then stop loss was hit and then multiple stop loss was hit so maybe the Bajaj Finance was not a good candidate for this uh, I mean the strategy let me go to this and let me find this I have one more that is nifty 50 is there let me check it on nifty so I'm checking it on nifty 50 and uh, what I'm getting is like uh, let us run this okay uh, now that is uh, something interesting uh, so you can see I had a uh, I have so many uh, buy call here but see my stop loss was limited to 35 rupees only like 35 points only right next I have uh, see this is a buy 
and this is a stop loss of 29 only right and see this is the uh, again my buy entry and see the stop loss 24 only right and after this multiple buys I total points I have lost on nifty is 135 and see I have uh, I am riding this trade at 22 12 2020 at 13 and now see where is the nifty around 15,250 so that is the power of uh, this uh, setup so once uh, it's like an army so three soldiers are moving uh, they are uh, leaving their uh, base and they are marching towards the uh, enemy like the sellers there and they march and soon or later the few other members just join the army and they reach that so that is why uh, that is the three uh, uh, three uh, white soldiers and that's why this is bullish so if you have any question regarding the code or regarding the strategy you can just put it and I will say like you should back test it for the all the stocks and you should know like how it is working uh, before so guys uh, that's all on this uh, edition of uh, my uh, this three white soldiers so if there are any further questions you can just post it uh, other than this i'm working on the orb technique like back testing it for uh, my future uh, videos would be on that uh, with a complete code on intraday setup so you can have an intraday setup here also some condition needs to be changed which I've changed in my most of the codes, uh, but I will made a different video for that. Thank you for watching. Thanks a lot. And yes, uh, if you like this video, please like it and please subscribe to the Bargain Trader uh, so that you can have the whatever work, research, something I'm doing, you can have a, uh, your look over that and if it can help you, then I think the, we reach the purpose of this video. Thank you guys.